Today is Wednesday, September 21st, 2022. We are here at the Heart Lake Trailhead in Yellowstone National Park, headed out for a five-day backpacking trip. Pretty excited about this one. Hoping for some good wildlife sightings. There are some thermal features along the trail. I think the whole trip's gonna be around 35 miles. We're gonna make our way down the eastern side of Heart Lake, head down toward the Snake River for a night, and then come back up the western shore of Heart Lake and back out of the trailhead here. So far we've been in the woods a lot, but occasionally we get these really nice meadows on the trail. How awesome is this big open view of Mount Sheridan? First one of the day. Man, this is exciting. So we're looking down at Heart Lake and into the back country we'll be in for the next few days been wanting to get down here for a few years now.
Well, today has turned into quite the adventure, whether we wanted it to or not. When we got to the Heart Lake Geyser Basin, like an idiot, I saw some game trails I wanted to follow, which started out as a few nicely worn footpaths and turned into a sketchy ordeal trying to find our way back to the main trail. Do not recommend. And then as soon as we started hiking again, we felt some light sprinkles and in five minutes time that turned into marble sized hail. Thankfully, we were back in the trees, so we were able to take cover and throw our rain gear on. Currently trying to make it up to the Heart Lake Patrol cabin so we can stop and take a breather. I think it's a mile and a half left to go to camp. Good times. Hey guys, we've made it to the Heart Lake Ranger Station. We have about 1.4 miles to go until we hit our spur trail for our first campsite. I am beat. I'm so tired. I'm gonna die. Here is our first up close look at Heart Lake. Bummer it's so cloudy out, but it should be nice and sunny when we hike back out of here in a few days. And that is Mount Sheridan. What a sight that is. made it here to the Beaver Creek campsite at Heart Lake. As you can tell, we've got a little bit of weather coming in on us. Don't have much daylight left, so I'm gonna hurry up and get the tent set up before it gets any worse. Found a little spot back in the trees to set up the tent. Not the most spectacular view for a tent site, but it gives us some cover from the weather. And it looks like there's a little bit of moisture blowing in from the lake as well. While I was putting up the tent, Amber went ahead and hung the bear pinatas for us. Good morning, we made it to day number two. Last night pretty much sucked. Just under an hour after we got to camp, it started dumping rain on us and it didn't stop till about seven o'clock this morning. Neither of us got to eat dinner. We were cold and wet getting inside the tent and even taking cover in there, it rained so much throughout the night, the tent got soaked through. Everything inside got damp just not a fun situation overall. Thankfully, yesterday was the only day that they're calling for rain on this trip, so hopefully that holds up. I enjoyed the hike in yesterday. It was eight and a half miles, but to me, it didn't feel like quite that much distance. 
The first probably three or four miles of it, you're mainly in the trees, but you do have some nice open meadows on the trail and some pretty cool views of the mountains kind of filtered through the trees. They didn't photograph terribly well. And then once you get to the Heart Lake Geyser Basin and you get that big open view looking down the valley at Heart Lake, from then on, the scenery is just spectacular. Today, we have about three and a half miles to get to our next camp. So I'm thankful for a nice and easy day. That should give us plenty of time to let our stuff dry out here and warm up. And I'm hoping I should have time to do some fishing at this next campsite. What did the two guys that we met on the way in yesterday oh. tell us? Be safe. It's dangerous out there. They told us another hikers, some other hikers, saw a wolf and two grizzlies on the opposite side of the lake from them. And they were on the opposite side of the lake from us. Go Bears. Some folks on the on our way in yesterday come out told us that on the other side of the lake they saw two grizzlies and some wolves. Oh wow. Which so side did you guys stay on? We stayed right next to the geyser basin by okay. Rust, Rustic okay. Geyser. Yeah. It was eight eight A six. Okay. But um yeah, it was beautiful. Cool. Gorgeous weather, like this the whole time. Couldn't ask for anything better. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Have a good one, guys. Y'all enjoy it. Be safe. Hey, babe, you want to tell everybody what's going on right now? It's hailing and raining again. So, once again, in about five minutes' time, we went from sunny skies to marble-sized hail. Yellowstone's going to make a dummy out of me yet. This is what we're currently taking shelter from. Hopefully it's starting to die down. It's almost one o'clock and we're about to head out to our next campsite. Weather has been extremely unpredictable today. We got up this morning when the sun was coming out and we had about an hour before we got into the hailstorm. And since then it's been mostly sunny but extremely windy. We did have time to get our gear dried out and hopefully we don't get hit with anything heavy for the rest of the trip. The wind is really, really cold. And I on the trail into the trees we'll have some cover from the wind currently you can see the lakes right behind us and we're just getting hammered here in the back country you really get some awesome views of fall colors this time of year We've been hiking in cloud cover most of the day, but at any given time, you can still look up and see this. You don't, you don't have to 
stand there. So around 245, we just made it to the East Shore campsite. No wildlife sightings so far on this trip, but the erratic weather patterns have continued. It's kind of been sprinkling on us one minute and then the sun's beating down on us the next. I think we're both just about ready for a good hot meal. Here is a look around Heart Lake from camp. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have some better lighting conditions for you guys. It's going on 6 p.m. and this weather here really can't make up its mind. It goes from warm and sunny to cold and windy to one or two minute hailstorms every half hour it seems like. Gonna go lay down in the tent for about half an hour, try to get warmed up a bit, and then hopefully it doesn't start raining I can come out and make some dinner. So around 7.15, I'm just finishing up dinner. Probably going to retire to the tent pretty soon because we're starting to run out of daylight. So used to coming here in the summer when it gets dark so much later. I can hear a few elk bugling across the lake somewhere, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. This is going to be it for day number two. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is day number three. Last night was pretty cold, pretty windy, a little bit rainy, but not terrible. We heard quite a bit of commotion down by the lake around 4 or 5 a.m. Want to tell everybody about that? Well, we heard something big tromping through the water and then heard a couple of tree branches snapping and then heard, heard it move back to the water. And then a couple seconds later, I heard a really close, loud elk bugle. Um, Mike's not entirely convinced that it was an elk. Anytime you hear anything making noise outside your tent at night here, you're always certain it's a bear. Usually it's just a really loud squirrel. But yeah, last night something was making a lot of noise going through the water down here by the lake. I feel like it was likely a bear. It could have been that elk. Amber said she heard what she thought were wolves off in the distance. To me, they sounded more like coyotes. But between about 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock, there was a lot of excitement wildlife-wise. Even though we haven't seen any on this trip, they're letting us know they're around for sure. How did it make you feel last night when you heard all that noise down here in the water? No, I did not like it. Uh, I could hear my heart beat more than anything I was trying to quiet myself because I knew that if I got too worked up I wouldn't go back to sleep and I never did go back to sleep <laughs> was it a feeling of relief when you heard that elk a few minutes later yeah yeah it was <laughs> so the plan for today is we're heading south of here about five miles We've got to cross the Heart River and the Snake River a few times. I don't know if any of those crossings have bridges or if we can rock hop across them or if we're going to be fording any of them. So that's going to be interesting. I believe we're going to be getting out of the woods and should have some nice open views for the next couple of days. The video really doesn't do it justice, but this view of Mount Sheridan from across Heart Lake might be my new favorite view in Yellowstone. Definitely top five. That's just amazing. So we will be coming up 
here to 8B5. And then tomorrow we go. So around 1045, we got camp all packed up. It's about six miles to go to our next campsite on Basin Creek. I've never seen any photo or video of the trail we're following today, so I'm pretty excited. This is the last look around Heart Lake from this side. We'll be on the opposite side at the base of Mount Sheridan in a few days. Right off the bat, we have two crossings of the Hart River. The sun is in the camera more than I would like, but check out this beautiful canyon along the Hart River. We're going to be following this for a few miles. We are now getting off of the CDT. We're headed to the Snake River. This will be our fourth river crossing and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just as cold as the last. Let's go. It's around 2.30. We just stopped and took a lunch break after that last crossing of the Snake River. We've got about a mile to go before our next crossing, and then I think after that it's around another mile to camp. Here is where we'll be crossing the Snake River for the last time.
just past 4 p.m. We're here at our campsite, 8B5 on Basin Creek. Today's hike was pretty awesome. Leaving Hart Lake, the view of the lake in Mount Sheridan this morning was absolutely stunning. And then not long after you get out of camp, you traverse this beautiful section of canyon that follows the Hart River and just five-star scenery in every direction the whole way through there. And then once you cross the Snake River, really pretty big open meadows out through there. Didn't see any wildlife. We saw two people today, two people yesterday. A little bit chilly this morning, but overall, weather was pretty close to perfect. What was your favorite part about today's hike? Uh, the fact that crossing the rivers and creeks and streams was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, some of them were a little tricky to figure out where the trail was going to take you to, I think. But that the one at Snake. The last Snake River crossing? Yeah, that was a little sketchy, <laughs> but it was okay. In total, we had six water crossings in about three miles today. Does that sound about right? Yeah, it sounds about right. Crossed the Hart River three times, the Snake River twice, and then had to cross Basin Creek right before camp. That was probably the only downfall to today, but they really weren't bad. A few of them were kind of tricky to navigate, but could have been much worse. None of them were more than about ankle deep. It wasn't as long as a, of a hike as I thought it was going to be. It went by kind of fast. Maybe it was because some of the trail was so flat. But It was a pretty fast six miles. We would have knocked it out in no time had it not been for having to stop and change shoes as many times as we did. I really love the scenery. That section of the canyon along the Hart River may be my favorite scenic trail I've hiked in Yellowstone so far. It's, it's definitely up there. So you want to tell everybody what you got there? This is my new bear bag. It is from Hilltop Packs. We ordered it a couple of weeks ago um, and it came in. Um, this is the one that I picked out, a little hay bear on there so that the bears know that I am their friend and also don't eat my food. <laughs> um, but it's it's been a really awesome bag so far. So the first night we were here, we got a ton of rain dumped on us while your bear bag was hanging up on a pole. Everything inside stayed really dry throughout the entire night. None of my stuff was ruined. And I've got, I mean, I've got a couple of packs of like grits and oatmeal in here. And although they have like a plastic lining on the inside, they still stayed dry as bone. We've got a guest here at camp. Looks like he's been here a while. If you could bring somebody out to Yellowstone who's never been and could show them one thing, what do you think it'd be? I'd bring them in August to see the Percy's meteor shower. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, and I'd probably take them to Imperial Meadows. We have the chance to do that this time, but I don't wanna do it. <laughs> This has taken a toll on me. This has been a challenging trip. The first half day was smooth sailing, but that first evening when it started raining and getting cold, it just stayed cold and wet for a while and just made for a tough start of the trip. Even though I'm the one that's probably better prepared mentally for those types of challenges, it still kind of knocked me for a loop. And that first night and the following morning, we kind of had some emotional moments, questioned whether we should bail out of the trip. And now I'm glad we decided not to. I hope we both feel that way. We? <laughs> me. Me. I was crying, begging him, please don't make me do this. I was freezing and wet and uncomfortable, like in more, I, I was so overwhelmed with everything, all of it. There was a period of about 18 hours where we could hardly get out of the tent because of the rain and cold. And it made for a little bit of a miserable time. I would like to say that I'm really proud of Amber. 
there were some serious hardships starting this trip off. And despite some difficult moments, I feel like overall she handled it like a champ. A lot of people would have lost their wits entirely. For what the situation was, I don't feel like any of that was uncalled for or out of the ordinary. She was completely justified in questioning what the hell are we doing out here. Well, I don't think I would ever want to do backpacking again in September. Um, like I said, August is, is my absolute favorite time to come out here. Um, probably because the weather is like perfect and I don't want any bumps, scrapes, and bruises on my trips. Like, I want everything to perfect and it just doesn't go that way backpacking will always have highs and lows and we got hit with a pretty heavy low right off the bat and that's never easy for anybody i don't care how much experience you have how much you love this even if you're like me and you live for it when you have a really hard day right off the bat especially after a really long flight here and a whole hectic ordeal I'm not going to complain about it. We're extremely fortunate that we're able to travel out here the way we are, but it's always a task getting from South Carolina to here. There's, 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 there's really no, no easy way to do it. <laughs> yeah. There's no easy way to get here from there. But again, I'm not complaining. I'm extremely grateful that we're able to come out here and do this a couple times a year. Uh, just being able to do it once was the experience of a lifetime. Yeah. I never thought that we would be, making our way out this far into Yellowstone. Like I never, that first trip, I never would have thought like, oh, we're gonna go explore all of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like all of it. <laughs> but I'm really proud of Amber. She's out here killing it. Maybe she doesn't feel like she is, but we're gonna get home and she's gonna look back on what she endured and how things got better after one hard day. And she's gonna be like, yeah, I crushed that. It was nothing. After we get out of here, what kind of regular food are you looking forward to? <laughs> Pizza. Pizza. I feel like the answer for me after a backpacking trip is always pizza. Like, I want a big, greasy, meaty, cheesy pizza to gorge on. And a good cold beer. <laughs> I can agree on the beer. <laughs> Who are you most excited to see when you get home? Who am I most excited to see when I get home? I feel like that's a trick question. She already knows it's my dog. I've got a 75 pound pit bull named Opie. You may have seen him. He went with me to the Blue Ridge Parkway when it was frozen over last year. Uh, he's my best friend in the world. The most challenging part about these trips for me, undoubtedly, is leaving him at home. When I'm gone for a week or two at a time, he gets a little bit of separation anxiety and I just kind of feel bad for him. But he's always super thrilled to see me, and that's always fun. But yeah, especially by the time we get close to that plane ride home, I'm just ready to get home and see my dog. This is going to be a wrap for day number three. We'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning, it is day number four. Last night was the coldest night of the trip by far. Probably got down to mid twenties. Not enough for our water bottles to freeze, but anything we had sitting out that had moisture on it had some frost on it this morning. The plan for today is to hike 6.2 miles north of here up to the West Shore campsite on Hart Lake. It's gonna be right at the base of Mount Sheridan. Really don't know anything about the trail we're hiking today, so pretty exciting to see where it takes us. Anything you'd like to add? It was very, very chilly last night. Our sleeping bags got a little damp last night just from the condensation. So we're letting them hang up and dry out in the sun. 
always important to keep those as dry as possible. So you may have noticed I'm not using a pack cover. Instead, what I do is I put everything into these dry bags. I've got one specifically for my sleeping bag and then one for everything else. And I've also got a separate waterproof stuff sack for my clothing. I've kind of found that pack covers just let the water in no matter what. And this system works out better for me. Here is the stuff sack I use for all my clothing. This is what it looks like all stuffed down, ready to go into my pack. It's around 11 a.m. The sun finally came out and warmed us up a little bit, and hopefully it's another good weather day. I have a bone to pick with you. What? We're on our way. Beautiful open meadows as soon as we leave camp. About 0.7 miles in, we're having to cross Basin Creek. Hopefully this is our only wet feet water crossing for the day. You said there was only one. Michael Bezer. We have arrived at our trail junction here, headed toward Heart Lake. You can just barely see Sheridan Lake down there. Once we make it there, we're gonna stop and grab some lunch. It's so around 1.30, we just stopped and had our lunch. I was hoping the trail would bring us a little bit closer to Sheridan Lake here, but you kind of have to take a game trail through the woods to get to it. Still pretty beautiful though. Let's walk down here and check it out. Awesome.
Here is our first look at Hart Lake for the day. It's around four o'clock. We just made it to camp. I'm going to get the tent set up, collect some water and hang my food and then try to go fish the lake for maybe an hour. What'd you think about the trail today? I would say my favorite part of today's hike was seeing Hart Lake on one side and Mount Sheridan on the other um, at the same time. We've got a pretty good tent site here overlooking the lake. Not a bad view for our last night out here. It's around 6.15 p.m. We're currently working on dinner. Today's hike was awesome. Really pretty section of Basin Creek, leaving camp. Great views of Mount Sheridan. We were in the trees for a little while, but even for hiking in the woods, it was pretty nice. Didn't really mind it. Was nice to get in the shade and out of the sun for a little bit. Didn't get to see as much of Lake Sheridan as I had hoped. You can probably do some off trail and see more of that if you have time, but we really didn't today. And then the last section of trail, once you start getting the views of Heart Lake, really beautiful through there. Honestly, this whole five days we've been out here, there hasn't been a day that scenery hasn't been really awesome. I've been really pleased with the route we chose as far as that's concerned. Probably one of the most scenic hikes I've done in Yellowstone. Very diverse landscape and scenery for a relatively small amount of trail mileage that we covered. And even the wooded sections were no more than an hour or two. We never spent a whole day just buried in the woods at any point. Anything you would like to add about the last five days? I would say the views of Mount Sheridan this morning, the big open meadows that we go through with the tall, tall, wavy, rainy grass. Um, I also really enjoy being in the in the woods when we're in those trees like that because Yellowstone in the pines like that has a very distinct smell. I wish I could bottle it, take it home with me. 
Um, but when you're going through those trees, every once in a while, you catch that nice whiff of tree sap and dirt. Mm. I think you could put me in a dark room with nothing around me and have that smell pumped into the room and I would immediately tell you I was in Yellowstone. Um, that, there's nothing else like it. Do you have a favorite campsite out of the four that we've stayed at so far? What camp? So the first campsite we had, I feel like would have been an awesome campsite. It was really pretty. The view was great. We're up high, like on a cliff. And the view of Mount Sheridan across from that was great. It would have been an awesome campfire, an awesome place to cook dinner. Um, I think that one was probably my favorite, even though it was the worst night of my life. <laughs> that was our really lousy weather day, and we didn't get a chance to enjoy that side as much as I would have liked. But... Overall, I would have to say that was my favorite campsite of the trip. Personally, I hope I get a chance to go back there and camp again someday. Is there anything you're looking forward to about tomorrow's hike, aside from getting back to the car? Probably going back through the geyser basin and seeing it the way that it's meant to be seen. I'm looking forward to seeing some more of Heart Lake up by the patrol cabin. We really didn't get a chance to hang out and enjoy that the way I wanted. And I'm also looking forward to checking out the Geyser Basin, seeing the Geyser Basin on the official trail and not that off-trail garbage that I got us into on the way in. That is some tasty stroganoff. How's your bag of pasta? That is not sweet tea. Take you a knock. It'll warm you up. <laughs> when you're out hiking, do you ever like have songs playing in your head or sing songs in your head? Hey, pretty lady, won't you give me a sign? I'll give anything to make it my own mind. I'll be your beat and be a fucking call. Yeah, I do. Yeah? Watch your broken dreams dancing out of the beam. Of a neon moon. Um, that one. If you lose, you want and only. <laughs> like, I'll just be walking and all of a sudden, bam, dancing in the moonlight. Uh, today was Mambo number five. <laughs> Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in boots. Ruin your black tie fear. The last one to know. The last one to show I was the last one you thought scream hey bear. You saw the surprise. The fear in his eyes. And I took his glass of champagne. I then I asked that bear, what are you doing with a glass of champagne? That bear was an alcoholic. What bear? The bear with the glass of champagne. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me see that pot. Oh, I smoked it already. The pot for the water. <laughs> Hurry up and boil. A lot of times I'll be hiking along and I'll just be singing them to my head. Well, I got to run to keep from hiding. And I'm bound to keep on riding. He's got a very sudden plane, if you haven't noticed. I got one more silver dollar. You can't sing Almond Brothers without a southern twang. Yes, you can. No. No, that's in the Constitution. I'm gonna need a little bit more liquor to get me through this. Oh, we're we'll recording soon. This is going to be a wrap for day number four. We'll see you in the morning.
Good morning. We've made it to day number five. Sadly, this is gonna be the last day of the trip. Last night was not as cold as the previous nights had been. We both got a pretty good night's sleep. It was really calm down at the lake and looking right outside the tent, I could see the reflection of the stars on the lake and it just looked like they were dancing. This morning is super foggy. You can't even see probably 30 feet out into the lake. Looking up above the trees, you can't even see Mount Sheridan behind us a little bit. It's around 9 a.m. right now, so hopefully the sun's going to come out and burn off some of this fog. I'm wanting to enjoy the views as we hike out of here today. Personally, I kind of like the September experience. There's some challenges that come along with it. I like the cooler daytime temperatures. I like that the wildlife is out and about more, even though we haven't seen any on this trip, which is kind of a bummer. We've heard a lot. Really love this Heart Lake area a lot. I uh, love the views by the lake. Once you get away from the lake, the big, vast, open wilderness is just beautiful. The sections along the Heart and Snake River, especially that rugged canyon that the Heart River runs through, really amazing. Some of the forest that we've been hiking through is recovering from the 1988 fires, and it's kind of cool to see how that's regrown at this point. Yeah, it's 34 years old, like the bee. We've also hiked through some beautiful sections of, I don't know if it's unburnt forest technically, but probably hasn't burned in the last hundred years. Overall, I love this area. I really, really love this part of Yellowstone. I would like to spend another day or two out here, but Amber's ready to get back to civilization. <laughs> I would absolutely come back and do this same trip again. Same route, same campsites, same time of year. I really enjoyed it that much probably my favorite Yellowstone trip that we've done. Jeez. How were the stars by the lake last night? <laughs> um, so as you're laying down in our tent where the water meets up with the cliff that we're on, that's not really a cliff. It's like a two foot drop off. But when you're laying down, it just kind of meets up and the stars were reflecting off of the water, which just made it look like space all over. So we literally looked like we were floating in space on a chunk of Yellowstone. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. I've been run down. I've been lied to. Meanwhile, in my brain, Good Lord, I feel like I'm dying. Down, 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 down. It's around 10 a.m. We got camp all packed up and headed back to the trailhead. Tonight, we're staying at the Flag Ranch Campground, which is on the Rockefeller Parkway between Yellowstone and Grand Teton. And I believe they have a restaurant, Wi-Fi, and hot showers. Here is a look at Mount Sheridan from right outside our campsite. Such a beautiful scene. I freaking live for days like this. We made it back here to the Heart Lake Patrol cabin. Had a nice talk with a couple of backcountry rangers. First time I've ever actually seen anyone at one of the patrol cabins out here. Now we're off to check out the geyser basin.
We've made it back to the Heart Lake Geyser Basin. Check out this gorgeous spring. Yeah, I didn't see this coming in. Here's one final look at this gorgeous valley we've called home for the last few days. I really hope I can come back out here again. We just finished our incline for today and got past the Heart Lake Geyser Basin. The remaining four miles we have is in the woods and it's all backtracking from day one. So this is gonna be the end of the trip. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Feel free to like or subscribe or leave a comment if you like. We'll see you next time. We're gonna be out here for about three more days. So if by chance I see something super exciting, I'll tack it onto the end of the video. I am ready for pizza and a shower. But this has been awesome. Two thumbs up. Look at this little bitch. Thank you.